Hello everyone, I'm the Viking General and this video will be about the Naginata Warrior Monks unit. Let's begin. The Naginata Warrior Monk unit can only be recruited by clans which follow either Shinto Buddhism or Jodo Shinto Buddhism. Furthermore, you also need to have the Monastery Building and the Naginata Dojo. The Monastery Building requires the Essence of the Spirit art from the Way of the Chi tree, and the Naginata Dojo requires the Strategy of Defense art from the Bushido tree. Naginata Warrior Monks are more expensive to recruit and to maintain compared to Samurai units. They have a high melee attack and they have a high melee defense. On top of that, they have excellent morale. Their biggest weakness is their low armor. This means that they are highly susceptible to enemy missile fire. Furthermore, their bonus versus cavalry is relatively low, which means that the Naginata warrior monks are also vulnerable to cavalry charges, but they will fare decently if they stay in melee combat with the cavalry unit. But Naginata warriors win every matchup against every other melee infantry, even without the use of their war cry ability. The only exception is against Nodachi Samurai, which they pretty much trade with evenly on medium battle difficulty, but lose to on hard and very hard battle difficulty even with the activation of war cry. However, that war cry ability makes the Naginata warrior monk a truly dangerous unit. This ability not only affects the enemy unit the Naginata warrior monks are fighting, but up to a total of for enemy units. This means that just 3 or 4 Naginata warrior monks can debuff an entire enemy frontline. And it's a significant debuff, because of the 3 stats it affects, 2 are essential for melee staying power, morale and melee defense. Downside of the war cry ability is its short range. It will still require good judgment and a bit of micro to get the most out of this ability. Also, the ability starts in the full countdown duration of 3 minutes when you enter a battle. Concerning province boosts, you want to invest in armor. This will give them some much needed protection against enemy missiles and will also reduce their casualties while they are in melee combat. There are two clan variants, the Uesugi variant, which is cheaper and has better stats, and the Iku Iku variant, which costs the same as the base version but has the stats from the Uesugi variant. In conclusion, the Naginata warrior monks are an excellent addition to your army, but their somewhat fragile nature prevents them from comfortably fulfilling the main frontline role, even with maximum armor upgrades. They are best used as units which support your frontline with their hampering debuff and good melee combat. Keep them away from enemy missile fire, and Naginata warrior monks will serve you very well. Thank you for watching.